In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we today gather to celebrate the solemnity of Saint Joseph, the guardian and the protector of the Mother of God and the Son of God. And in this Holy Eucharist, let's pray that God will give us the grace to follow his example in growing in our ability to trust in God's providence and God's ways. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last in life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that by Saint Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings we entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The, the Son, Son of David, David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The my Son, Son of David, David will live, live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The, the Son, Son of David, David will live forever. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The, the Son, Son of, of David, David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
It was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, Thus shall your descendants be, that is why it was credited, credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child to the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the solemnity of a person who was known very little. In fact, as you read the New Testament, you know very little about this man Joseph. And in the New Testament, we don't have any record of even a single word that Joseph might have spoken. But I want you to think about the reason why the church would have a solemnity during the time of Lent for a person who is known very little who is not given any importance in the New Testament, like any other people that we read. Why and what's the reason? I think I should kind of really think about this question. The one answer would be, here is a man who had an outstanding ability, incredible capacity, to trust in God's ways, coupled with unwavering faith in God's providence. And that's what makes him great. Even though we do not have much about this holy man, St. Joseph, because of his ability to trust in God, and because of his unwavering faith in 
God's providence. He became the guardian and protector of the mother of God, Mary, and son of God, Jesus. What a great role he played, but he is not known. He's not talked about a lot in the Bible, especially in the New Testament. But therefore, when you think about this holy man, there are a few words that will stand out. Righteous man, pure, holy, obedient, and always willing to do what God wanted him to do. And what has it to do with us today? Especially as we are in this situation of the global health crisis. Yes, he was, he had this outstanding ability to trust in God's ways. He had unwavering faith, but not without struggle, not without questions, not without the anxiety and the fear, which we all have right now. We all have questions, we all have fears, we all have anxieties, we all have doubts, and he did have all those things that we go through today. And that's the gospel. But still, despite all the questions, all the doubts, all the anxieties and fear, this holy and righteous man had this tremendous capacity to trust in God and God's ways, which led him to this unwavering faith in God's providence. Probably the one challenge that he will be giving us today is, I did this, can you do this? In the midst of all that I went through, I had this ability to trust in God. I had this unwavering faith in him. Can you do it today with me? That would be the only thing that Joseph would be asking all of us today. Let's pray with all that we go through, with all the questions, all the struggles that we are in. Let's pray that through the intercession of this holy and righteous man, we too will have this capacity to trust in God and in God's ways and in God's providence. May God bless all of us. Amen. Let us stand and on this solemnity let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, Consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for us salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is and all be glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, on this solemnity of Saint Joseph, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Holy Father. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, 
for his well-being and for wisdom and strength that he might be able to lead the universal church at this difficult and challenging time we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer in solidarity with the local church here in western oregon with all our bishops and our laity we offer our prayers for our brothers and sisters here and around the world especially those who are sick and suffering because of the virus we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer on this solemnity of saint joseph we the all saints faith family offer our prayers for those who have lost their loved ones to this virus may god console them and grant them peace we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray also for doctors nurses caregivers all health care workers public health officials and all civic leaders may god grant them protection courage and prudence as they seek to respond to this emergency with compassion and in service to the common good we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray for everyone in this community of all saints especially those families that are hurting emotionally financially and in any other way that through the intercession of saint joseph the protector and guardian of the holy family we find strength and resilience we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer in this time of trial and testing teach us all in this community of all saints parish to love one another and to be patient and kind help us to bring hope calm and the peace of jesus to our city state and to our land we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us now pray for all the intentions we hold deep within our hearts we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer at this time i invite you to pray for to people who have asked their prayers. Let's pray for Megan, the daughter of Greg Langmuller, who works daily at various Portland public schools, providing meals to the families with the school children. And Greg is asking for prayers to Megan. And let's also pray for Mike Kelly, the father of Erin Holmes, one of our former All Saints school teacher, as he is struggling with health issues at this time of need. And let's also pray for all of our elderly people, our parishioners who have done so much to this parish community, who are going through very tough and challenging time now that they will find comfort consolation strength and healing we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer god our loving father we know that you always listen to our prayers and we know that you are with us at this time of difficulty at this time of uncertainty be with us protect each family and we especially pray for all the young families in our parish community be with them be their protection and through the intercession of saint joseph grant them the strength that they need to endure this time of testing this time of difficulty we ask this in the name of jesus the lord Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who owned himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and book of human hands it will become our spiritual grain. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May this sacrifice this day be pleasing to you, O Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and words may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord Christ accept our sacrifice in our hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care, your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set us a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. To him the angels praise your majesty Dominions and our empowered stumble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have prayed to rightly gives you praise. For through your Son of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather our people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he set the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis R. Pope and Alexander R. Bishop, Patriots Assistant Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. May we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is true. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. For the Savior's command and food by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we sent your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of Christ bring us to the last in life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, meet your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to a lasting life.
this time of communion. I want all of you, our parishes, to know that your desire in your heart to receive the Lord is known to the Lord. And therefore, He knows your desire, He knows your heart. And therefore, at this time, you all can have spiritual communion. Welcome the Lord, receive the Lord in your heart. Even though you are not receiving the Holy Communion these days, know that the Lord is in you, in your heart, and He wants to be there, and He wants to be with you. Realizing that His presence is always in us, welcome Him once again into your heart, into your life. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice in the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go and announce the good news of the Lord. Thanks be to God.